What's up everyone, we're back on the LC ladder and this time I'm going to be using a Charmander Sun team. And Charmander Sun is really good because in Sun, Charmander has an ability called Solar Power which boosts its power. And Charmander literally becomes one of the strongest Pokemon in all of LC with that Choice Scarf Solar Power combo. So it's going to be really exciting to use Charmander Sun on the ladder. And okay, we got a game immediately, that's good. So looking at the team, he doesn't really have a lot for Sun. He does have potentially flash fire Ponyta. And that can be a problem, so we're going to have to trap it with Diglett. And I actually have Eject Button Slowpoke plus Diglett. So Diglett with Choice Scarf can actually trap that Ponyta. So it's gonna be exciting to see if I can actually pull that off. Let's lead Vulpix and get the sun up, and we'll just see how it goes from there. He probably will be leading Mianfu. He leads Staryu, interesting, okay. So right off the bat, I could go Slowpoke and trap Staryu, but I wanna save my trap for Ponyta. So let's Energy Ball here. Surf doesn't kill. Expected. Energy Ball does 63. That's decent. Now I can go to Timber and I'm gonna knock off. Okay, so he's giving up the Star U and that is what you do not want to do versus Sun. You don't want to give up your water types. So now Timber is going to be able to knock off. He might go to Fungus. Yeah, okay. But now I can go to Natu and spam Heat Wave. He does not have a switch into Heat Wave anymore besides that Flash Fire Ponyta. So I'm really excited to see if we can get this Flash Fire Ponyta to work. He, Natu, Spore, we bounce it back, let's Heat Wave now, nothing switches in. I wonder if he'll go Ponyard, if he goes Ponyard, I'll be really happy, but Natu is going to dominate this game. Heat Wave, he goes Ponyard, does it kill? Yes, we got it, nice. Natu hits, and that's really good for us. Natu in the sun, an unexpected threat. He goes Ponyta, and now our threat comes into the picture. Slowpoke, he's going to Flame Charge, Wild Charges, okay. Takes the chip damage, Eject Button, Eject Button into Diglett, and Diglett can finish it off. And guess what? He doesn't have any sun checks anymore. Sun is going to sweep the game right now. All they need to do is get one more turn where I can get Charmander in the game and it's going to sweep. And right now, Mianfu, is it Scarf Mianfu? Fake out, okay, that's fine. I can go Vulpix and Sack, and I think I'll do that right now. Yeah, now Charmander should sweep. Easy win. And this is how, this is how powerful Sun can be right now. Like, look at this team. His team had a Staryu, it had a Ponyta. The Ponyta was ruined by Eject Button Slowpoke. The Staryu was misplayed, and now Charmander is going to sweep the game and he can't do anything about it. One more Weather Ball. Hits one more. And look, two Grass types they're going to die to, this is over. This is over completely. One more game. And this is how powerful Sun can be. No switch -ins. he's taking a lot of time and he's realized he can't do anything. He's going to go Grookey. Weather Ball, dead. Fungus is going to die too, and it's over. So, really fun game. And we'll keep going till we get another one. And I'm going to pause the video until we get another game. So let's just weather ball again. GG. And we got another game. And this game might be a little tougher because of Archen. Archen is a rock type, which obviously resists um, our Vulpix and Charmander. But more importantly, he might be Sash Abra, which is interesting. And it's a little tricky. It's going to be a little tricky to figure out how to beat this core. So I'm going to lead Vulpix right now. He leads Mianfu. It might be Scarf Mianfu. I'm not sure. But I'm just going to go Timber right now. I don't know really what... It could be Scarf. That's my bet. I bet it's Scarf Mianfu, but I'm not sure right now. So ideally, I want to knock off the Scarf, but we'll see what happens. Fake out. Okay. So it's good that we know it's not Scarf. Let's knock off. Let's knock off here. Uh, I'm going to go to Slowpoke on the High Jump Kick. Perfect, perfect. Now we can go Charmander and something is going to die. And I believe I need Fire Blast to actually one-hit KO Archon. So let's Fire Blast here. Okay, Mianfu's dead. Really good right now. That's how powerful Charmander is. Choice Scarf, Solar Power, one-hit KO. And Archon will die to a Fire Blast, so I need that extra power. Weather Ball will not cut it. But yeah, yeah, really good so far. I wonder what he'll go to now. I think he might go to Abra, but Abra is kind of walled. Not walled, but it struggled with Natu a little bit, so I'm hopeful he'll go Abra, then I go Natu. But really powerful stuff from Charmander here. Fire Blast, getting that KO, and look, he's taking so much time, he doesn't know what to do. He goes Archon, Archon is going to die. Archon is going to die. Oh, it lives! Wow, I didn't expect that to live. You were really impressed. Oh, it's Eviolite, okay. It's Eviolite Archon, that's why it lives, probably. Okay, so now his team is really weak to Timber. So, for example, if I can trap with Diglett, like, then Mac Punch can kill. So I have to be a little bit careful how I play this, but Timber should win this game now. But wow, really impressive stuff from Archon. I believe that's Eviolite. That shouldn't live, right? So now he goes to Abra now. Now I think I can go to Natu and probably Heat Wave, right? Oh, he... Wow, that does a lot. Is it Life Orb? That might be Life Orb. 
If he has Shadow Ball, that would kind of suck. I don't think it has Shadow Ball, though. Let's see, wave. It does have Shadow Ball, okay. So now I have to go to Diglett here, but let's Earthquake. And I am Scarf Diglett, and I'm Scarf Diglett for Flame Charge Ponyta. Wow, it's okay. Okay, that's really interesting. I didn't expect that so much damage from Abra. So let's Mac Punch here. And I wonder what he'll go to now. He'll probably go to Magnemite, maybe? So I have to be a little careful how I handle the situation right now. So that Archon surviving Charmander's Fire Blast really surprised me. I didn't expect that at all. He's taking some time here. Okay, Mac Punch kills. Now, let's see what happens now. He might go Timber immediately, and he goes to Magnemite. Interesting. So, I think I might have to just Drain Punch here, right? Let's try it out. I think I have to Drain Punch here. He might Volt Switch, maybe? Or is he going to Steel Beam, even? Or should I... See, I think this might be Choice Scarf Magnemite. So I should... Ah, oh, this is going to be tough no matter what. But let's just Drain Punch. Okay, we live, we live, we live. That's good. Drain Punch, Sturdy Juice. Wow, interesting. Okay. So, we have to be a little bit careful now, but... Let's Mac Punch here. He's sturdy, but he doesn't have the juice, which is interesting. He's sturdy with no juice. Okay. Now he goes to Timber, and now he's probably going to Drain Punch. So let's Thunder Wave here. I should live a knockoff. Yeah, we go. There we go. Okay. Let's get a Psychic off. Should I Teleport or Psychic? If I Psychic, I risk him going to Scraggy. Uh, really tough. Let's Psychic here. I don't think he'll go Scraggy. Mac Punch. Okay, fine. Let's go Vulpix here. Let's get some good damage off with Overheat, and then we can drain back health with Timber, and we should be in a good spot. Okay, paralyzed. Now I have to be really careful. So, I think what I have to do right now is... Does Overheat kill Scraggy? Uh, Vulpix... Uh, Scraggy... DD Scraggy... Overheat kills Scraggy in the sun? So I'm going to sack Timber here, or maybe I won't sack Timber here, that's fine too, and we'll Drain Punch here. So really interesting game, and I, for whatever reason it wasn't, I think I won this game, he's complaining right now, but um, I think I won this game because uh, Overheat Vulpix. Let's Drain Punch here, because I could Weather Ball the Timber, then Overheat the Scraggy, so I think I won that game. Uh, Iron Head, Drain Punch. And let's smack punch. Oh, it was EV Light Scraggy. So I did kind of luck him there. It was EV Light Scraggy. So, oh, wow. Okay, so I, I kind of didn't get lucky that game. But we'll get one more game right now. Okay, and we got another game. And he is using the famous Cottony Scraggy and Cottony Zigzagoon core. And I'm going to lose to that Zigzagoon unless, unless I can uh, keep my timber at max health. So that's what I'm going to do. I have to keep my timber at max health. And... I wonder, does Eject Button work if I die? It doesn't, right? So, um, I probably need to keep Timber at max health to even handle that Zigzagoon. But other than that, I think I have winning chances because he doesn't have a Fire Resist. So let's go with Vulpix immediately. He leads Ponyard. Oh, is it Sash Ponyard? It could be Sash Ponyard, which is always an interesting thing. Let's Weather Ball here. It could be Sash Ponyard. I don't think it is, but it might be. It might be Sash Ponyard. Because why would you lead Sash po Why would you lead Ponyard versus a Sun Team? Okay, so he's not Sash Ponyard. Weather Ball, 76, that does a lot of damage. Mm, let's see, I do want Vulpix alive. I think I'll go Slowpoke here. He uses High Jump Kick, and now we can trap the Diglett, uh, trap the Mianfu. There we go, really nice here. Earthquake, I'm gonna kill this Mianfu. And now he doesn't really have a switch in to Charmander Vulpix. And it's important, I need to keep that Timber at max health, as I mentioned. I need to keep it at max health to live one hit from Zigzagoon. But, wow, really interesting. He goes to Cottony now. And he might knock off, maybe? I think Vulpix might be my best play. He's going to Memento, maybe? He knocks off. I'm fine with that. Let's get a Weather Ball off. And he's probably going to Memento, I believe. I think he should be me Mementoing here. So let's see if he does it, or if he's going to sacrifice. He sacrifices Mudbrake? Is it Choice Scarf? Okay, critical hit, I'll never know. But interesting. Th that might have been uh, Choice Scarf. If it was Choice Scarf, it lived a hit, so I'm really sorry if it was Choice Scarf. But I think I, if it was, like, depending on the damage, I think I would have sacrificed Slowpoke and Trapped again with Diglett. But this is going to be really interesting. And the main thing, as I mentioned earlier, is I have to keep my Timber at 100% to even have a chance of living that Zigzagoon. And he's, he's going Ponyard here. And, ooh, this is going to be tough. I'm going to go Natu on the Sucker Punch, and I'm going to Thunder Wave him. 
And the reason I'm doing this is so that... Oh, I got lucky too. Oh, so I'm really sorry about that, but the reason I did that was I want Timber to outspeed Ponyard so I don't take knockoff. That was the main reason I did that. Let's heat wave here. It dies. And to be honest, yeah, that kind of sucks for him. So I'm really sorry about that. But I think I won anyways because I wanted that paralyzed. The reason I wanted it paralyzed was so that Timber could outspeed. So now it's going to be a little tough right now. He has to get rocks up. He had to get rocks up for Zigzagoon to beat Timber, but he wasn't able to do that because of Natu and Vulpix. So he goes to Grookey here. I can probably Heat Wave again. It is that set of Swords Dance acrobatics, but Heat Wave, 95, that does a lot. Natu's a beast. He goes Grookey now. I'm going to Psychic again. He He's in a lot of trouble right now, if we're being honest. Psychic. And he's probably going to Memento with Cottony. Uh, yeah, really good game. GG. Okay, we get another game versus the Archen guy, and it's going to be interesting. So now I know that I do need Stealth Rock up, this, especially because of that sturdy Magnemite. So I'm going to actually just lead Diglett and get my uh, Choice Scarf Stealth Rock up. And it's a bit of an unconventional set using Choice Scarf Stealth Rock, but let's go with it. Stealth Rock here, and now I should be in a lot better should be in a lot better of a situation because of Stealth Rock being up for the Magnemite and for the Arch Archen. So ideally, what I do is I use Timber to Mac Punch Abra, right? I use Timber to Mac Punch Abra, and then Charmander can sweep the game after that. So a little bit of a different route. So we're not doing the typical lead Vulpix route. We're using a different route, but the end result should be the same. We should be going for that Charmander sweep. And he uses Knockoff again. I don't know why. Okay. Should I Mac Punch or Drain here? Uh, let's Mac Punch. I wonder if he, if the if it's defog Archen. Okay, it's not defog Archen. So if he goes Abra here, I would be the happiest guy right now. I hope he goes Archen. Uh, sorry, if he goes Abra, he doesn't go um, Abra. So now, let's see. How do we play this right now? I could go Natu. It might be defog Archen, which I have to be careful of. I could go Natu on the dual wing beat, and just you know use Thunder Wave. Let's do that. Let's go Natu here on the dual wing beat. We do live, and let's go and get a Psychic off, because I know he doesn't have an item from the last game we played. Yeah, and... Oh, is it Choice Scarf? Is that Choice Scarf Archon? That would make a lot more sense. In any case, I think this is the right play. Yeah, it's probably Choice Scarf. That's why he's winning all the speed ties, and he doesn't have an item. Timber Mac Punch. Let's go. And we should be winning the game with uh, Charmander. So let me just calc one second. I believe Timber does die. We'll just calc it to make sure, though in sun yeah it's going to be taking a lot of damage it's going to be dying yeah it's going to die okay he goes abra fine by me mac punch thunder wave interesting so now i go vulpix and now i go slowpoke and the reason i'm going slowpoke route right now is i want to be able to pivot into charmander see we take the eject button charmander should sweep the game now and i'll just double check the calc right now scraggy with eviolite in Sun. Yeah, they should be dying. It's all close to one hit chaos. And GG. That's a sweep right now. One, he doesn't really have an option. It might be Endure on Magnemite, but the way he's played it, I don't think so. Yeah, one more. Let's get another kill right now. Mac Punch is not going to do enough. So it was Choice Scarf Ar Arcan, I believe, right? Yeah, that's not good enough. Let's keep going. Two more sweeps. Two more hits, rather. And let's get another game. This will probably be the last game. He goes Magnemite now. I'm still scared of Endure. I have to be a little careful. So it's Protect, which is interesting. Protect, I don't know why you would run Protect. Yeah, and I'm not in any risk of running out of Sun, but okay, yeah. One more. And I wonder if it's Protect Scraggy. Protect Scraggy would be in... Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's it. Four sweeps right now. Done. And we have another game, and this matchup might be really tough because Axew can resist fire moves, score money, can resist, it might be Scarf score money, right? Archan, Frillish, all resist fire. So it's going to be an uphill battle. We'll see how far we can go. And I'm going to lead Vulpix as usual. He's probably going to lead Aeron. And Aeron, I wonder if he'll predict my Natu. Because it'll be Stealth Rock, right? Will he predict me though? You know, the type of guy to use Aeron probably will not predict me. So let's go Natu. If I get beaten by Head Smash, I get beaten by Head Smash. But let's just go Natu here. Stealth Rock bounced. There we go. Like to see it. And uh, I'll probably Psychic here? Or should I Psychic or should I just go Timber? Wow, interesting choice right now. I think I'll Psychic. 
And I'm, I'm okay with losing Natu. Like, Natu is not going to be doing much this game. So denying Stealth Rock is probably the best thing Natu is going to be doing this game. Let's Psychic. He goes to Frillish. Interesting. Psychic does 24. I get the drop. I'm going to Thunder Wave here. Yeah. And the reason I Thunder Wave, it's just about odds, right? You want to be Thunder Waving Pokemon uh, because it's good odds. Okay, he forfeited. Okay, so we do have time for one more game. Fighting this guy again. And last time he didn't really know how to handle the Suncore because he got his Staryu and Ponyta both ruined. Let's see if he knows how to handle it better this time. We'll lead Vulpix again. He leads Ponyard. I'm going to Weather Ball. And I'm going to Weather Ball. Yeah. He goes Ponyta, gets Flash Fire. But remember, we've prepared for this. We've prepared for this entire thing. We have Eject Button Slowpoke and we have Choice Scarf Diglett. High, high Horsepower, expected. Now let's go Diglett, let's trap. So we just removed the flash fire uh, sun check. So that's obviously going to be huge. And we've done it without losing any health on Diglett. So really, really good right now. So it looks like he didn't really learn how to play the team from the last game. And he's still struggling with the core of eject button slowpoke and, uh, and Diglett. Oh, and you see, he's kind of surprised right now. He doesn't really know eject button slowpoke. He didn't learn from the last game. Really, really interesting, and now Ponyta is going to die. And now it's about, can we remove the Staryu? If we can remove the Staryu, Charmander can win. So let's see how he plays this right now. He goes to Fungus, which is interesting, but not the best move. He could have gone Grookey to put some more offensive pressure, but now we have a free switch to Natu, and I'm going to use the Spore again. We can Heat Wave right now. And I doubt he'll go Staryu, but even if he does, that's still fine. He goes Ponyar, that is going to die. Ooh, it lives. Nice. So now, uh, do we predict Sucker Punch? What do you think we should do? Should we predict Sucker Punch and go Timber? Um, see, if he gets the prediction right, I don't think he'll get the prediction right. But if he does, he Stealth Rocks here on the switch out. That would be a pretty good play from him. Let's go Timber. He's going to Sucker. Yeah, there we go. Now we can Mac Punch. And I wonder if he's going to go Fungus here. He doesn't. Okay, Pawn near dead. Really good right now, and we're, we're breaking down his team. Ponyard's dead, Ponyta's dead. Um, I wonder what he's going to go to now. The most likely thing is that he's going to go to Fungus, I would think. He goes to Mianfu. Mianfu, I'm fine with that. I'm just going to knock off. Yeah, I'm fine with removing Mianfu's EV light here. So let's knock off again. Okay, he does U-turn. So he was not interested in losing his EV light. But he goes to Grookey. Is it Grassy Seed? Ah, that makes sense. So a good play from him. Now, what should we do? Let's go to Vulpix right now. Should we go to Vulpix right now? Yeah, let's go to Vulpix right now. He uses Acrobatics with Weather Ball here. And I want Charmander to come into the game right now. Because Weather Ball is actually a two-hit KO on Staryu, which is really fun. But I don't think Grassy Glide kills. It might, though. I'm not sure. But he'll have to win the Speed Tie. And he okay, he wins the Speed Tie. I'm fine with that. Charmander comes in. Weather Ball should two-hit KO Staryu, I believe. And I'm going to have enough sun turns, six turns is pretty good enough to finish off the team. So I don't think I'm in any real trouble, especially with Natu being really good. So he goes to Staryu now. And ideally I find a way to trap the Staryu. We'll see if I can do it though. I'm just going to Weather Ball here. 63, in sun. He uses Surf, that's not good enough. We're going to win this game right now. So this is how it's done. Scarf Charmander is a beast. It's a total monster right now, and you're seeing right now how it can work. So that dies too. No chance. He goes Mianfu. He's going to Fake Out, I believe. He's going to Fake Out. What should we do against a Fake Out? Let's just go Slowpoke. Actually, I could have gone Diglett there, but that's fine too. Let's Psychic here. And we should be wrapping up this game. He's going to U-Turn here, I think. But then I can go to Natu next. So we're going to sacrifice Slowpoke here. Yeah, he U-turns, he, that's fine. We can go Natu here, we can go Charmander, we have options. Let's go and use Charmander with Overheat. That should kill something, even outside of Sun. Uh, let's go, come on. Oh, we missed. Okay, so we might be able to choke this game. Uh, we have to make sure we don't choke it right now. Let's go Psychic here. Yeah, Psychic should win the game. Even if I lose a Speed Tide, it should win the game. And this is going to be the last game, so if you like this type of stuff, make sure to... Comment down below that you do like ladder content, because I know a lot of you actually like ladder content more than tournament content. So if you do like this stuff, make sure to comment. And he's getting all the luck he needs right now, but I don't think it'll be enough to actually win the game. Because I do have Diglett in the back with Final Gambit, I have Timber. Let's see if it happens. He goes Mianfu, he's gonna fake out. This is gonna be a speed tie now, 17 speed tie. Let's see if he gets it. Um, okay, he doesn't get it, GG. So that was a fun one, and yeah, as always, make